And for the first time then on the Mystery Voice Quiz, it gives me great pleasure to introduce a voice we don't hear enough on the air. It's the lovely Jules from next door. Hello, Jules. Hello. Hello, Jules Hello. from next door. Right, so you have the honourable job then uh, of picking uh, picking a ball out of my ball bag. <laughs> now that we have, uh, Let me rummage first. <laughs> I'll dig deep. <laughs> dig, to dig deep into the bag and uh, pick out a number and we'll see who gets the first chance uh, to have a pop at this mystery voice it is number one number one number one i don't believe it <laughs> I, I, you kidding me number one you are kidding no well people are going to think we've only got one <laughs> listener would you believe it's blooming rob ah oh, that's not how i wanted that to go not that i've got anything <laughs> against you rob but uh, people people will think it's the, oh no do you know what's worse he's the type of He's the type of one who'll get it. He'll well. know it. He'll know he it. will know it. It'll go on the first day. <laughs> I was th here was me going, I'm going to build this quiz. It'll go up by two pounds every day. And weeks later, people will be going, who is that damn voice? And we're at 149 pounds or whatever. <laughs> How would we get to 149 pounds if it goes up two a day? We wouldn't, but never mind. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, right, so the chances are Rob's about to win. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay then, Rob. Ring the studio. And we'll get you on air next. And we'll see if you can take ten pounds off me. Right. Well, I didn't expect this would happen. Hello, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm not going to get it. Well, you you never know. You might. Uh, what stranger things have happened. Uh, now, we don't get you on the air very often. You pretty much enter every competition we've ever done, but it's not often we get to hear your voice. So at least we've got that today. Um, that's a thrill for the listeners, I'm sure. <laughs> Right, okay, so we played you uh, We played you the mystery voice earlier. Well, it's tough. It's certainly tougher than I ever thought. And uh, it is quite difficult. Rob, are you ready? Go on. Rob. Yeah. Your answer is... Total guess, Ian Botham. Ian Botham. Well, I did say that I was a bit concerned that uh, you were going to get it on the first day and take the ten pounds off me. I needn't have been concerned. It's not Ian Botham, Rob. Well, you weren't going to make it that easy, were you? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Well done, though. You can re-enter again tomorrow. Okay. Ta-da. Right, then. Local radio for local people. That means it's £12 up for grabs tomorrow. Shame, shame, shame from Frank Music. Shame, 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 shame. Well, I can't pretend I'm not relieved on that. Bless him, we do love Robert Colstoworth, but he can be a bit of a fly in the ointment when it comes to setting impossible questions, because he knows everything. Uh, but, uh, rarely on Gravity FM, a wrong answer from Rob uh, means that we have £12 in the kitty tomorrow. 